everyone welcome to my channel on my shade world in this video we are going to see what are the python operators so what exactly the operator is operator is mainly used when you want to perform any operation between the variables and the values in that case operators are used and there are a lot of operations we can perform using python on the top of variables and values so in that uh, uh, the python have divided these operators in few groups uh, arithmetic assignment comparison logical identical membership and bitwise so we'll see everything one by one in more detail so number one is an arithmetic operator uh, so let's get started so an arithmetic operator let's say uh, there is a variable x and uh, here I will write something 10 and uh, variable y is assigned with something let's say 5 and now in the arithmetic operation you can perform uh, operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, flow division, uh, modulus, even the exponential which is actually the power. So you can perform all this. Uh, in, in the very uh, first few videos uh, we saw like what are the built-in functions that Python can do. So uh, these are the ones and we already have explored that but let's see with uh, what are the operators in in this video and uh, so we cover what exactly these operators are so let's run this cell first so uh, i've already uh, now assigned the x and y with these values uh, now let's see the first operation that in the arithmetic operator is an addition so if you want to add these two variables, then it should give it us 15. So let's see, x plus y, and it's giving us 15. Similarly, if you want to do something as in subtraction, then you can simply write x minus y and get this, it's five. Now, uh, this star is actually a multiplication operator, which works as for multiplying two or uh, two variables. Um, so let's see, it's give us 50, which is exactly matching with uh, 10 into 5 which is going to give us 50 now uh, what is x divided by 5 this is uh, the slash is actually a division operator so if in division then it should give us 2 so let's see that and it will give us something in float yes why float the reason is in division uh, the return type of any data is actually in the float could be in point sometimes in fraction in a, in, a, in a big number so it could be in large number of decimal places so uh, float is always going to be in something in uh, decimal uh, as in in float type uh, this division operator and now the double division operator is actually stands for what we have already seen in, in the in few videos that this works as a floor division. So what this floor division stands for? Uh, so anything uh, which you want something in an equation, so we'll have that. So here you will get it something too. Because x divide by uh, anything with 5. So what I mean to say is when you divide anything, here is a x so x is equal to 10 so when you write here 5 so here you have to write here 2 right because then and then you will get something as in 10 right so any value which you take for to just remove this this is what exactly the division is and this is gives us 0 okay 0 0 then, right so this act this 2 is actually called the Floor division that is the quotient, and this is actually called the modulus value. This is for the mode, mode value that we got somewhere. Uh, we'll see in in the one. Okay, and this one is for the quotient value. So let's see the same in the few other video. Uh, you know, uh, points. So here there is a modulus sign as I have shown. So it will generate a zero. See, because this is what the modulus is. Now, if you want to do this star star two times when anything works out, it gives you some power of value. So power value as in 10 star star five, which is equal to 10 should be multiplied by five times. 
and that is what the exponential gives you run the cell so this is how you can perform your arithmetic operations so these seven are our operate uh, operations that you can perform that is arithmetic and completely on the numeric data types so now let's see the comparison operator so what are those and how you can do the comparison so the word itself comparison says anything which is less than greater than something which is equal to uh, equal to equal to as in equal to equal to is something you need to check whether they both are equal or not uh, sometimes less than sometimes equal to sometimes uh, less than and equal to greater than and equal to uh, not equal to so not equal to is actually the not sign which is the opposite of equal to so these are the comparison that you need to do when uh, between two variables or the values so uh, mostly these operators are used uh, uh, in the uh, conditional statements when you want to do some if else statements or some while loops you want to run or for loops or some looping um, uh, statements you, you need to write so in that case of com a comparison operator is most important so let's see how you can write the comparison and what actually the operators are which uh, for what purpose okay so let's say i want to uh, have these two variables x and y and these are the values 10 and 5 now run this cell uh, so if you see there the operators are different way different than what you have uh, saw in, in the arithmetic one so these are equal to this exclamation and equal to stands for not equal to greater sign x is greater than y x is less than y that's how you should read then x is greater than and equal to y x is less than and equal to y and one thing important to be note here that every time this uh, operator will uh, respective operation will return something in a boolean data type so in boolean in the previous video i have already shown uh, and what uh, uh, scenarios you can use this boolean type and what exactly the output you will get so something which is an if else statements as i as i already told about this comparison in case when you want something in true or false so yes or no so kind of such scenarios whether this condition is true or not so in that sense you can have uh, or work with this comparison operator and similarly you will get the output something in a boolean way so let's run this cell first uh, for x is equal to y so double equal to stands for something is is x and y both are equal so you can read here is um, x is equal to y okay x is equal to y that's how you should read here um, and uh, this one is for x not equal to y okay so let's first run this cell so it's giving us false because x is 10 and y is 5 and when you see the equality that between x and y is equal or not so that is false definitely they are not equal if i say x is not equal to y this should give it as true run the cell yeah this is how so that's what you can see that the output is in the boolean type but this operator works out for just for whenever some operations where comparison is required some conditional statement now this you should read as x is greater than y there is no equal to sign if there is an equal to then greater than and equal to okay so let's run this one it will give us true now x is less than y that has to be false because x is gray is 10 and y is five so definitely false is x is greater than and equal to five so in that case this is giving us for true the reason behind is uh, the x is greater greater than or equal to y it's not and it's or okay if i run this one it is false because again so understand this point that this says x is less than or equal to y so understand this clearly that this is or or is something which is 
accepted okay fine if this is not true if this is uh, true then okay it is correct so that's how so this is what uh, the comparison operators are i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel and we will see this uh, other operators in the next video where uh, we will go through the assignment logical identical because a lot of other operators are also there which is important and i will also share along with that that where you can apply this and when you can do that and what exactly the output written uh, written of this uh, uh, operation what exactly the data type or what result you will have so uh, see you on the next video till then happy learning